Hello, everyone. Dr. Anna Kabeca here. It's so good to have this time with you. And I'm um, really feeling blessed to be with you and also with one of my girlfriends. So here I am, Dr. Anna Kabeca, the girlfriend doctor. We've had this time together. We're at day 10 of our 21 day till Easter walk together as we're working on increasing resilience, improving immune system, improving immunity. Many of you um, have already joined my Breeze Through Menopause Keto Green Masterclass. So if you're on with me, we are, we're on day three, but you can start any time. I just wanted to say that I've extended this offer. I initially closed the offer to get lifetime access for my program, which is a $200 program. Um, for uh, I was closing it for the 31st, but I opened it back up so you guys can continue to invite your friends to join us in this to get the keto green meal plans and the messages and the videos and the training on a daily basis so that you guys can have some more community as you go through this together. We're doing this now and May 5th comes out Keto Green 16, my book. So I'm excited to we'll walk through Keto Green 16 plan at that time when that's released. So I'll be here back again with you guys to do that. Today, I have a dear friend of mine, one of my best girlfriends and most brilliant, brilliant colleagues, Dr. Angeli Aki. Hi. Hey, Dr. Aki, how I'm are you? Glad to be here. I love uh, the girlfriend doctor because you're like one of my best girlfriends. <laughs> I've always been your girlfriend doctor. Yeah. <laughs> True. True. Uh, Dr. Aki and I have known each other for um, over a decade, just about a decade now, over a decade now, and um, and have met each other at a medical conference and um, have been fast friends ever since, because she is truly one of the most brilliant people that I've had the blessings to meet with, but not just in that, in her heart. So heart-centered, so kind, so giving, giving of herself. So Dr. Aki, tell our audience a little bit about your practice there in North Florida and your mission, your, your mission to serve and help. Yeah, so in the middle of this virus, I'm very focused right now because I have a 21 year old medical practice in North Florida in Gainesville. We have over 6,000 patients and five healthcare professionals. And I've been working night and day to take the lead and to treat and protect them. It's called North Florida Integrative Medicine. Yes, and it is, um, and, uh, at North Florida Integrative Medicine, Dr. Aki, I've, I've been there to visit your practice, to um, consult with you and to just uh, share in your grand rounds and your wisdom, helping your midday grand rounds as, as Dr. Aki also teaches med students and other health professionals to really understand this integrative aspects to the cutting edge internal medicine trained initially at Yale, continuing her medical education to be not just board certified in internal medicine, but board certified in integrative medicine, anti aging medicine, and, um, and just doing so much good in the world. So you guys like she is if you have questions, any questions related to health, let me tell you, Dr. Agi is a brain that you have got to you connect with, you have got to ask these questions. So don't hesitate. I, I've had I've received some beautiful questions that have come in to me during this time. And also some statements about, you know, looking forward to keto green 16, how getting keto green has really changed um, their lives and and what difference it's making. So at, at Dr. Aki's um, clinic, a very forward thinking clinic in North Florida, she has been my the test facility to try out Keto Green 16. She is someone who's like, you know, I love your Keto Green diet. It's doing great. We really need to bring this into the group medical visit. So when I created Keto Green 16, a 16 day plan, she brought that into her pra practice. So you guys, like we've had some really amazing rounds of Keto Green 16 at her, at her clinic, but also before she even brought it to the clinic, um, using it herself, can you tell about your hemoglobin A1C? No one will, you know, 
Yeah, so I've actually used it on many, many people, and it's not uncommon on Keto Green 16 within the 16 days to really drop the hemoglobin A1C uh, from, I've seen six to 5.4 within like 16 to 20 days. And this is a very common thing. So what that represents is actually the, the batting average of blood sugar that normally should change in 90 days. But when you get the Keto Green 16 and you have the Freestyle Libra on your arm, you can really have your patients and, and yourself see how the blood sugars stay stable at around like 85, 90, when classically sometimes they're between 100 and 120. So the hemoglobin A1C is a marker for overall blood sugar control. And ideally it's under 5.4. So it's very common that I actually see with Keto Green 16 in a very short period of time, um, a normalization of the hemoglobin A1C. Which is fabulous, which is really fabulous. So talk about your group medical visits. And now like you're even doing the group medical visits virtually, but what you've seen, like what your clients are telling you about this, this new plan. So we've done six cycles of keto green 16. So we do um, a keto green one, which we introduced your plan. And we did a little video on that. So it's right at the beginning. Then we do keto green support at 14 days. And then at 21 days, we finish up with keto green two. And so we do waist measurements and weights, as well as symptom scores at the time, uh, keto green one, and then keto green two, three weeks later. And uniformly, we're seeing about a 50% drop in what's called MSQ, multiple symptom scores. So these are things like, I feel tired, I feel bloated, I have rashes, my brain's foggy. All those symptom scores drop in about half. And then the weight loss has been, you know, I, I the, the 14, 15 pounds in a couple of cycles. The average is around, right around four or five pounds, which is actually quite excellent. So the 14, 15 pounder weight loss people are actually are insulin resistant. So if that's you, uh, you'll see initial weight, water weight loss, and then continued fat loss with this particular plan. It's a really I, fantastic plan. I love it. And we just concluded one round and it's, we started, I was down there um, with you. Gosh, just, was it three weeks ago now? Gosh, so much has changed in three weeks. So I came down for your initial, yeah, in, in person group medical visit and uh, met, met this round of participants in Keto Green 16. And um, what yesterday just kind of, or what was it? Uh, Monday, just wrapping up this, you know, with your Keto Green 2 class, that what really struck me and so warmed my heart was, was this group that despite everything that's going on in the world and isolation and uh, restrictions, that they continue to come together and meet and follow the plan. And one of them said, you know what, this has just been the distraction I needed during this time. This has been the distraction I needed during this time. And I feel more energetic and clearer and better able to handle anything that comes in my way. And, and just a note for our listeners, basically, the average age of um, participants is late, late 50s, the average age. So pretty much 50s to 70. I know we have some clients in the 70s, a couple uh, younger in the um, 40s, but pretty much averaging. So this is this for us women, the perimenopausal menopausal age group where weight loss is more challenging and symptoms more frequent. So to feel that quality of life and to feel that this is the, the right distraction and to be feeling better and more connected during this time, I think that's an added, I mean, for sure, that's an added gift and added bonus. Yeah, so within that group, it just really motivated people. So that one actually started on March 9th, when you were in Gainesville. It's hard to believe that was only three weeks ago, our world has totally changed. And yet, this particular group persevered, and actually did really well. The, they were on the support call. And then on mo this past Monday, um, the gentleman who actually did quite well lost about 15 pounds. And the funny thing is that um, I actually saw him outside in the parking lot because of sinus symptoms. I do drive up evaluations during this COVID epidemic. If you have any respiratory symptoms, I see you outside. But he had been dizzy. But the reason why he was dizzy it was he was he was coming off of his blood pressure medications because he had lost 15 pounds. He didn't need the blood pressure medication at, at that dose. So that was quite remarkable for him. I want to emphasize that. So he lost 15 pounds in the 16 days. His wife lost 12? Half. They, they always lose always half. half of what the guys lose. 
So yeah, it's, it's not fair. Guys have 10 times as much testosterone, nothing we're going to do about it. But you know, his wife lost a significant amount of weight too. And what was really beautiful. So he came in with feeling this dizzy, wasn't sure if it was sinuses, you took his blood pressure, it was significantly low, and we're able to wean him completely off his blood pressure medicine. Well, he's down to just about off. But the reason why I saw him outside was he had called saying he had dizzy with sinus symptoms. And I actually was prepared to swab him for COVID if he had a fever. But no, it was all good. He was actually, he had lost so much weight. I needed to just about wean him off his blood pressure medication. He'll get off this year as he persists with keto green. Man, I, that is fabulous. That is fabulous. I want to say hi to everyone who's watching and joining us. I'm here with Dr. Angelie Aki, an internal medicine, a Yale trained, one of the world's most famous influentials. She speaks worldwide, anti-aging, stem cells, peptide therapies, hormone balance, and has been a dear friend for 10 years. She's absolutely one of my best girlfriends. Aww. It's been 10 years because I met you on my 40th birthday 10 years ago, April 23rd of, of 10 years ago. <laughs> that see, it is a decade. It goes by quickly. Um, definitely want to, you know, emphasize that during this time and just end with you, you're the front lines of COVID doing your drive up evaluation. So people don't have to come into the clinic and you're, you're seeing them in person. And what are you, what are you seeing? What's going on in the state of, with the state of COVID? And what are the best things we can be doing now to protect our immune system and protect ourselves? I love your book because not only does it talk about nutritionally what you could do um, to, to get better, it goes into mind, body, spirit, and it talks about connection, oxytocin, and dropping cortisol. So uh, my teaching partner, Dr. O'Neill Smith and I on the Farm Up Doctors, you can see the website, farmupdoctors.com, we actually are writing a book on uh, kicking COVID to the curve, and we're recommending Keto Green 16 during this time because we believe that not only the connection will make you alkaline, so you're all being sequestered and quarantined at home for 30 days, connect with the ones you love in the ways you haven't connected before, so it'll drop the cortisol. Don't watch too much news and TV, number one. Number two is it appears in some studies that an alkaline state, a pH greater than seven, is actually useful in fighting off the virus because viral, when it penetrates the body, it actually needs an acid state at a cellular level. So leaving yourself stressed out and, and eating the standard American diet uh, will leave you susceptible to the virus. So that's why we thought it was just easy to recommend Keto Green 16 as a nutritional lifestyle plan to fortify your immune system in the middle of this pandemic. Well, I think that, you know, I will say God's timing, Angelie, God's timing, right? Can getting it out as sooner rather than, you know, as soon as possible. So in my for my book, there's book bonus pages, get started guides, pre order and um, get all of everything I can give you, I'm giving it to you. So so please, you guys, take advantage of that. Get started. Follow these principles. I was speaking with one of my participants in Magic Menopause today. And just, you know, one thing I saw with her just following the plan in three months, just following Keto Green, she her um, cholesterol went from 280 to 231. Wow. Isn't that just great in three months? And, and, and pattern A, pattern A, so light, fluffy, light, fluffy cholesterol. So I uh, just seeing these changes, but now beyond this, because we want everyone to go keto green insulin sensitivity, right? We're going to do our fasting keto green and 10% fasting, 10, 80% keto green, 10% feasting, but really being conscious of everything we doing right now to support our immune system. So um, thank you for emphasizing that about keto green. Now, what else should we be doing? What about supplements? What are you giving your, your med students, your staff taking yourself and, um, and I, I do want to emphasize that number two, <laughs> after keto green 16 is get a good night's sleep. Dr. Aki, I am your doctor too. I'm going to tell you get a good night's sleep. <laughs> So yeah, there's a study that showed with the a different type of virus called a rhinovirus that causes the common cold, that people who slept less than five hours per night, seven days in a row, had about a 450% increased risk of getting the common cold. So you definitely need to sleep. And if you're, if you're at home, there's no reason why you shouldn't sleep. You shouldn't have an alarm at this point because... Um, all the public health people say to stay at home and go to sleep, right? Yeah, stay at home, connect with your family. You could spin the A story, as Dr. Kathleen says, spin the A story. Like you say, wow, this is a good time this until April 30th to get to 
reoriented with my family, have dinner at night together, get a good night of sleep without setting an alarm, and let's just connect, right? So it can, or let's do Keto Green as a family. It's a really good time to connect. Um, in terms of supplements, obviously, nice fresh food, like your food, is the best. Uh, I really love the Mighty Maca. I have cooked in Dr. Aki's kitchen, by the way. <laughs> and she does a fabulous job. My husband was not a Greens fan until she, she came. 10 minutes after mass, she made like this awesome broccoli onion stir fry. And my husband still asked for that because he loved eat her broccoli. So Dr. Anna can make really good food out of not a lot of supplies. So <laughs> I do have a son who's an awesome chef though. And he did keto green. He lost like 18 pounds right off the bat in three weeks after coming home from Croatia last summer, right when you had your, your book in a draft form. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Awesome. So in terms of what I think of supplementation, I actually made an immune pack um, out of, for my office and it has vitamin D3, it has zinc, and it has immunoglobulins in there. Uh, but in terms of just generically saying, what is your basic immune supplement? I think tier one is vitamin C and you should increase it to GI tolerance. So you take the, most people I try to get to three or 4,000 milligrams but if you get diarrhea, 4,000 milligrams go down to 3,500 milligrams. The only asterisk there is make sure you're staying well hydrated. So you don't, if you, especially if you had kidney stones, you have to be careful with high dose vitamin C. Shouldn't be a problem if you stay well hydrated. The second one is vitamin D, right? D defense. Remember, vitamin D became a hormone about the same time Pluto got demoted to being a rock. <laughs> That's how I teach vitamin D because it affects every cell in your body, right? So we used to think of it just for bones, but now we know it's an antidepressant for your brain. We know it fortifies the immune system, right? So you need vitamin D. And unfortunately, most Americans are low vitamin D. So vitamin D is really important. Zinc is really important. It's antiviral. So you're going to want to be on somewhere between 20 and 40 milligrams of zinc. Um, I think that's your basic. Uh, also, in terms of Maybe your basic could be fish oils. Eat salmon or take in a, a good omega three. I think you have good omega threes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you, you, know, you have opportunity for good omega threes from what you have. I think there's some other things that are more uh, supplementary, but also very useful. I don't know if you've heard of um, beta glucan, right? So beta glucan upregulates your immune system. It's in it, Mighty Maca. I'm just yeah, sharing with everyone, it is in Mighty Maca. Beta glucan, also Mighty Maca has quercetin, so important right now as an antioxidant superfood. Mighty Maca is actually a great go to, like one scoop twice a day to fortify your immune system. Um, because my Maca, actually, remember when I was one of your test sites, it increases DHEA. Mm -hmm. I've been on back a long time. Like we were a test site for Jolva. You've been a test site for everything. You've been one of my <laughs> test sites. It's been good. Yeah, so maca, increased DHEA, has quercetin, has beta-glucan, so superfood, one scoop twice a day or one packet twice a day in the middle of this pandemic. It's a no-brainer. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. DHEA fortifies the adrenals, right? You need to be fortified. Mm -hmm. Adaption. You want to adapt your body to whatever stress might be coming your way. So, yeah, I like colostrum. Uh, derived from that are something's called um, uh, transfer factors and immunoglobulins. Um and I think mushrooms, some certain mushrooms from the Chinese medicine tradition. And finally, an herbal called astralagus. So I basically customize my um, protocols based on your history. And I, I am available at firemupdoctors.com for telemedicine. If you're interested, just look at that website and book a telemedicine consult with me or my partner, Dr. O'Neill Smith, and we'd be happy to go through customizing protocols for your immune system. Well, then I think that's what we're looking at now is, okay, we know that obesity puts us at risk, smoking puts it at risk, other inflammatory conditions and concurrent medical conditions can put us at risk. But I also want to say that it's never too late, we can turn this around, we can fortify, we've seen insulin reverse and improve, we've seen blood pressure improve, we've seen metabolic syndrome improve, we've seen cancer, precancers improve. So, so that's something I just want to inspire everyone to hold hope in their heart and to take their next right step today. And you guys can just in the um, 
comment section, go ahead and tell me what your next right step is, what your next next right step that you're going to do is that you're going to commit to taking today, just one next right step, put that in the comment section of wherever you're watching this video, I figured out how to stream to more than one place. And so, um, but it's been, that's been fun. So, so Dr. Aki, what is your next one right step? For me right now, it's just getting more sleep. You know, I've been trying to review the literature on best practices from around the world. So I've been up late and taking care of patients uh, really like at, at a level I haven't done since I was an intern. So for me, I just know I need to sleep. I'm on all the supplements pretty much that I told you about. Um, I was just, I was laughing with Dr. Quebecca during my, um, I started doing keto green until I had to be in a hazmat suit every morning. And so I've been on the hazmat suit diet and lost five pounds a week over the past two weeks, but it's not anything I'd recommend for you all. I think keto green is much more healthy. Alcohol and state is much more healthy. And as soon as this all settles down, I'll get back on keto green. Well, I think the, the hazmat suit is basically you're outside working in the heat, fully covered mask, you know, uh, goggles. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's a goggle suit. Yeah, it's a wetsuit. I have major detox going on mm -hmm. <laughs> for a few hours of mm -hmm. I'm outside. Like my, my face mask actually gets foggy, kind of like a scuba. So I know that my metabolism is up and everything, but it's not anything I'd recommend for your crowd. I think keto green is very safe. It's clean. Yeah, fortified. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to wear hazmat. So we're no. staying inside, staying away from people. So we're not uh, <laughs> as much as possible, but I'm there to help. So anytime you need it. Uh, Dr. Aki, also you're talking about sleep, getting good sleep support. And I think let's talk about sleep supplement regimen. I'll share mine, you share yours and, and what, what we recommend. And certainly for me, progesterone at night. Progesterone, I take one night off a week right now but I am continuing to increase my progesterone and, and my pure balance PPR, that's progesterone and pregnenolone. Progesterone improves THT immunity. And it's something progesterone is depleted in times of stress because of increased cortisol. It, and is, you know, we need progesterone to make cortisol. So if everything is going towards cortisol production, we are going to deplete this neuroprotective hormone progesterone. And progesterone increases our GABA, which is a natural, a neurotransmitter that helps us relax and get a good night's sleep. Um, the drug gabapentin is basically a synthetic synthesized form. And so uh, progesterone, that's what I'm doing. Magnesium at bedtime, I use my better brain and sleep formula. I take um, melatonin, my pure snooze formula, which is a sublingual melatonin or a buccal melatonin, you can just let it dissolve in your mouth. It's three milligrams, I typically cl tell clients start at just a half of one. But I know at any signs of um, currently with the coronavirus that there's some interesting research looking at higher dose melatonin up to 10 milligrams of melatonin. And it's certainly I've recommended higher doses in my breast cancer patients in the past. And then a lavender essential oil and a nice hot bath. Um, I had Dr. Maritza Snyder uh, on the conversation earlier today with the trio combination, my favorite three of the clary sage, the lavender and bergamot essential oils to put those in a, um, a a spritzer bottle with a water base or a witch hazel base and spray that. So adding that to my evening routine. Yeah, I just want to comment on the melatonin because um, there were specifically in, in regard to this virus. So, you know, melatonin declines with age so that usually in 40s, 50s, it's pretty low already, but yet we know it supports the immune system. So I think melatonin is a great option right now. Um, there was an Italian pediatric study that shows that melatonin reduces lung, lung injury and inflammatory cell recruitment during viral infections. So funny, true, true story. I basically read that and I said, oh, well, I should try melatonin, even though I sleep like a log. So it actually made me oversleep my alarm. But I was actually trying to uh, protect my lungs by adding the melatonin. So think about melatonin, 0.3 up to 20 milligrams, a higher doses if you're doing uh, immune support. The cancer studies in Europe were up to 5.0 or 15 milligrams, but I wouldn't recommend it to this crowd. But the mar well, the, my point is that the margin of safety with melatonin is very high. Normally, it's like 0.3 to 5 milligrams. This will do the trick for you. I, I think that's great. That's 
Great sound advice. And yeah, typically, you know, for me too, the one to three milligram, uh, one to three milligrams or upward if we need it as well. So here's some next steps that we've got people sharing with us. And Dr. Aka, honor your time. I know you're busy in the middle of clinic and patients. So um, just let me know when you've got to bow out. We'll wrap this up. But I want to share with you some of the next steps. Uh, Sharon said she is getting rest and sleeping. Good. Mm -hmm. Deborah said her next step is to stay alkaline and get more sleep. So first, get more sleep. Second, stay alkaline. Deborah, actually getting alkaline will help you get good night's sleep. Beautiful. L, meditation and yoga every day this month. Beautiful. Jane, remain keto green. Get more sleep. Stay on a schedule. Be intentional about increasing oxytocin. You know, my audience knows I love oxytocin, Dr. Aki. How do you feel about oxytocin? Oh, I, you know, my boys, when I wrote my first book in 2011, um, Fine Tune Your Hormone Symphony, um, at, at the time they were young boys and I'd be coming home from work and I'd be like, come here, boys, mommy needs some oxytocin. And they were, they just give me a big hug. I love oxytocin. I'm still waiting on your book on oxytocin. Maybe that'll be your next book, Dr. Kabaka. <laughs> well, uh, we really do need to combat cortisol. Cortisol is bad for your immune system. So hug each other. Hug a pet if you don't have another person to hug, but connect. And I love the way you're increasing oxytocin just in connection vir virtually right now because many people are sequestered and many people don't have people um, or they're sick or they have COVID and they're sequestered, but they can connect virtually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and we definitely know that that makes a difference and it's really beautiful. Tanya, finishing work in two days. So just being still resting and going within. Uh, just a note to everyone to join my program for free right now, 10 days, join us on our journey. And so that's the access code information. Uh, on that note of oxytocin, one of my clients, a 67 year old female, she was uh, always you know, she's been in my programs for a couple of years now. And so she's gotten the alkalinity part down. But with all of this stress with the uh, COVID, she was very, very acidic. And then uh, and she was uh, sequestered in her and her husband in her home. And her grandbaby was across town and she wasn't able to see him. Oh. And so they did a, so she was, so all that time she was acidic, acidic, acidic. And then she had a, um, a, a birthday, a virtual birthday party with her grandson through Skype and uh, his two year, his second birthday. And she said, she goes, I couldn't, honestly, Dr. Anna, I couldn't wait to use the bathroom because I, I knew I'd be alkaline. And for sure, she checked her urine test strip and yeah. she was alkaline. She goes, I was so green. I was so green. It just, it just emphasized how oxytocin is a great protector. So you should probably have a birthday with him every day on Skype. I know, definitely connecting more and more and more. And so, so just some information, dranna.com forward slash keto green to get the you know information on where you can purchase keto green 16. And also the book bonuses, just put your um, uh, receipt number and then get all the book bonuses, including quick start guides and, um, you know, just additional recipes and support, including a food roadmap that really will help us all on this. So again, thank you, Dr. Aki, for joining us. Tell our audience again, where they can consult with you because you're doing telemedicine virtual where state yeah. lines do not matter. Yeah, so virtual telehealth is, is firemupdoctors.com. It stands for Functional Integrative Regenerative Restorative Internal Medicine. Uh, F-I-R-R-I-M up doctors.com. So we say we fire you up to take control of your health. And we want to be able to, to personalize plans for you in terms of fortifying your immune system. Like I said, our ebook's coming out within the next two weeks. And we love Dr. Anna Kabeca. You all are very blessed to have her leading you on your health journey. Dr. Anna Kabeca is a pioneer in this field. And, and I actually met her because she was my teacher in a medical conference uh, in, uh, 10 years ago. So in 2010, on my birthday, because I was so impressed with her, her teaching and her passion and her knowledge base that we became fast friends. And I'm so blessed that you're in my life, Dr. Quebec, and I pray that you be well. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ake. I will tell them how we celebrated your birthday. I did take you out gambling. <laughs> fundraiser. It was a fundraiser though. It was, it was a denim and diamonds fundraiser, but 
<laughs> that was fun. Fast friends ever since. And then that next morning, she made me run a race. 5K. So, 5K. 5K. Next morning, we got up and we ran a 5K. And then, you know, on the way home, we had a, like a three hour conversation as I was driving home from Miami to Gainesville. And ever since then, fast friends. Fast so, friends. if you can do for you or your community, I'm happy to do it, Dr. Quebec. And thank you so much for what you do for my community and my practice. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you guys. Definitely share this episode, share this episode that we are having right now and share this with your friends. A lot of, um, if you, I know there was a question of can't share from one of my private groups, so Keto Green or a Magic Menopause group, but you can share it at my Dr. Anna Kabeca page. And also these are streamed to YouTube as well. So definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, you can share it to any of your platforms there as well as um, email out the link. So I appreciate you sharing this and also um, just being part of my community and being here as we raise up a team of wise women warriors to improve the health of ourselves, our families, and our communities. And as a result, all of humanity right now, we are in this together. And I bless you all and I thank you for being with me. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Be safe and be well. God bless you all. Thank you for having me on.